and um, just gotta hope that um, you know and um, right now I'm supposed to be already out to college by now but then the transportations are pretty much dying for some reason which is kind of ridiculous to be honest however i have uh, i'm not surprised like i'm not sure if i'm supposed to be surprised about that or not because uh, uber slash kareem in our country is a complete fucking garbage at times and um like i said it's and it's gonna be Honestly, no surprise if I was late on the goddamn lectures. Thanks to that. And to, of course, uh, goddamn uh, transportation. Although that it's 14 degrees right now, um, it is still that weird sunny freaking weather. And I guess, um, but I have... When I wear a jacket that is not really having long sleeves and shit, but, but it's like, has its sleeve all gone, and it's just the chest part. Just in case if the weather has decided to go really stupid. Which is not surprising, because the weather in the weather in our country is just um, unpredictable at times. <sighs> Yesterday it was um, it was pretty I don't know decent and normal until a really shitty conversation was brought up with a friend, and I gotta tell you, I feel more guilty guilty already, like. Um, like I'm not gonna even bring up any names or talk too much about it. But basically, the friend that I've had this conversation with was basically an old friend that's been with me ever since I've quit Twitter, and um, apparently, there were just some times where I have been literally. Not being nothing but a complete fucking asshole to them. And uh, during this two years time, I I didn't realize that I have already have lost them. And I would easily be just filtered out. But due to their generosity and generosity and their decency left them. Uh, they decide not to ditch me, but I just need to improve. And honestly, the only things that I can think of about that is going to be improvement to them is that I don't become an asshole to them and just stop bringing up um, negative bullshit with them. I know it's going to be sounding quite bullshit. And you guys might think that he's not being a true friend, but like I said, he was generous and patient enough to be putting up with me till that. It's because he had it up with me till here, you know. And he's seen all the many goddamn stages that I've been through of a massive mental you know, grief and stuff, which is, again, not surprising. And like I said, the only thing that I'm going to do is just uh, keep the negativity away from him, which is honestly completely bullshit and all, but, I mean, I guess that everyone else is going to turn like that, you know? They've had it enough with my negativity and whatsoever. And not to even talk about anything. And, um, I don't know. I don't really know. Like, what else to be done anymore? 
And originally, I was gonna ditch them. However, I would be just doing what I already did from literally two years to a year's time. And not only that, but I would be just hurting them and um, completely falling into an even worse goddamn position. Because he's been, because they've been a part of, because you know, they're literally the last pe good people from the FGC roleplay community that I have uh, ever known. Really, the last good fragment from that goddamn community, roleplay community, at least. And then, thanks to all of that, um. I just felt guilty and had me sinking hard. But then, honestly, I don't think I can sink any more harder or even bother to uh, literally reflect anymore. Because I already, already have had enough reflecting. And I've already did enough reflecting and sinking and regretting. I've already, I've already did a lot of those lately. And, um, it was no goddamn surprise, I, um, there's no goddamn surprise, there's no, uh, no goddamn surprise that someone's gonna come up and literally do that to me, and once again, there are just those things that I can do, while the others, like just figuring out how to improve, or just figuring out how to be better and whatsoever is just not my thing. Alright, not my thing anymore. Because it's all just a goddamn stupid mystery. I just want a guy that wants the answers in front of me. You know, because I'm not, I'm not a snatcher. Or in a fucking detective video game. Or in any kind of video game where you have to literally... Just work yourself up to the fucking bone to just find a goddamn answer. Alright. I am I am not I'm not Phoenix Wright. Alright, I'm not in Phoenix Wright or Phoenix Wright himself to just literally solve the goddamn mystery by myself and by using some stupid assumptions. Alright, there has to be some goddamn um, realist in this realism here. Like, there has to be some kind of common sense and realist here already. But then again, I'm. <sighs> and honestly, I already have a life I'm trying to keep. A fucking real life I'm trying to keep around here. And, uh, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, like, have to move on from what I am already trying to move on from. So, honestly, I don't think I have enough time or enough goddamn effort or enough mental energy to try and move on and to literally try and understand another goddamn thing, because I'm going to be real. Um... The only goddamn answers that I can just give is I wasn't meant to be on the goddamn internet in the first place. Since that people just hide a lot of goddamn important things from me and they just save it for two, two goddamn years or more until they just come out with it and literally, you know, slam me onto the wall with it. Which is just, which is just again the same goddamn bullshit that has been done to me on many goddamn times, and I, I fucking hate it. Okay, I fucking hate that people do not become straight with me from a fucking long ago. But then again, I am not surprised. I'm not surprised anymore. Like. Everyone has became an asshole, so why should I be surprised that um, the remaining goddamn friend from the FGCRP community is actually is doing the same to me? 
In fact, I'm not gonna be even surprised if I was ghosted and was fucking blocked by them. Yes, you know, I might have I might have actually lost them long ago at this point. And I'm not gonna be able to fix anything. And it's and it's all about showing. Showing something that I and I cannot even comprehend or apprehend with my goddamn hands. You know, this is not this is not something that I can just easily solve just from assumptions and whatsoever. Alright, there's gotta be some concrete, obvious shit to base my goddamn stuff upon. Otherwise, are we just blabbering out bullshit? And I, and I just hope that what I'm... Like, right now, I'm just keeping the negativity away from them. You know, since that they hate my negativity so much, and they hate my goddamn way of acting. And this is probably the same thing that those people... That he, uh, this is, and they're just doing what those goddamn other people on that goddamn server have literally been wanting me to do before they fucking set me up. Like, you just gotta be positive. You gotta lie to yourself and lie to them. You gotta be a fucking liar. Like, this is... Like, this is just what I get. You gotta be a liar. You gotta be a liar and pretend that you're all, you know, on the cherry moon. Uh, you know. Like, I just hate the fact that you gotta lie. You know, I'm not a liar. Okay, I'm not a fucking liar. I'm not a fucking liar. I'm, I'm just gonna pretend that I am that I don't have any goddamn emotions, that I'm not sad whatsoever. And apparently I just gonna work work around it so goddamn hard that literally the simplest word could just show but at the same time hide. Like I'm sorry, but this is not how the human fucking body works. Like, in fact, this is this is just not how humanity works. But then again, what do I expect from this kind of humanity? Other than it literally fucking me up in the ass. And so to move on from that kind of conversations, I <clears throat> I'm just going. Uh, I have been looking around on YouTube for some gameplays on most of the FMV games from the Sega CD era. And let me tell you, like, um, I have been looking around on YouTube and been watching some gameplays for some Sega CD FMV games that are live action and apparently um, most of these games were just as cheesy and um, and pretty cringe and mostly stupid and hilariously good on uh, that, are, that are literally more cheesier and sometimes better and more cringier than Night Trap. Like, holy fucking shit, bro. Like, there's that game, Double Switch, that apparently featured, like, two or three of the famous actors during that time. Famous movie actors, to be specific. And it's just bigger and harder than Night Trap. And you gotta be literally so fucking fast. <clears throat> And what's even worse is that um, <sighs> what's even <laughs> and um, and there is probably a perfect uh, launch point like those games. <laughs> then there's Mad Dog McCree, which is pretty much the one that I'm gonna download and play because you know. Emulation is the key and whatsoever. Anyways, I might just download that game for how stupid and cheesy it is. And at the same time, ironically, 
year. And there is a crime patrol in the second game of Mad Dog McCree. And apparently, and then and apparently, it follows a similar manner of shooting people, you know? And the same manner of gameplay. Like the Crime Patrol, Who Shot Johnny Rock, Mad Dog McCree 1 and 2. They all follow the same gameplay style, which is. <laughs> like, bro, what? <laughs> And using the same sound effects and the same voice effect whenever someone is shot. I'm like, what the hell? Then there is that Kids on Sight um, game. It's it's a little bit confusing, but at the same time, quite stupid. <laughs> and it looks kind of fun. Like, you control many different... Uh, machines from you know the construct from one construction site and you sometimes get to do some stupid things you know carrying people dumping them into a tr into a cement truck dumping the cement on dirt on them like damn boy <laughs> and it's quite the teamwork Literally, one of the guys on there says, Now that's stream teamwork right there. <laughs> and uh, apparently, like from all the cheesiness and stupidity, like holy shit. <laughs> and apparently, it just goes beyond the Sega CD for being cringe and stupid. Like, holy fucking shit. And honestly, I did not really expect that. Then there was a wirehead. Apparently, you uh, you make choices. You make uh, choices using the um, the directional pad, and um, you know, and like that. And then there are some choices you gotta make using the freaking face buttons <laughs> and like holy shit it's quite something <laughs> like it's quite a mess to be honest well just gotta hope that um <laughs> and then there's a mobile port for double switch like oh my god I'm like, oh, seriously, oh my god. Then there's Sword Shark. And basically, you're inside a goddamn sewer and you're cleaning it from monsters and shit. And you get to be cold dog meat at the very beginning. And. And I guess I am a goddamn dog meat in reality. <laughs> Until uh, I'm improving it. Whatsoever. And later on, your name becomes Beach Bum. Like, what? What are with these goddamn cheesy names and shit? It's so fucking stupid. Like, seriously, I might just pick up and download and play most of these games. Along with Lisa Enforcers. <sighs> um. Probably after college or some shit. Otherwise, um, I don't think there are any more things. <sighs> Other than that, I don't think, um, I don't think there is gonna be anything new. And it's just gonna be me, um, trying to move along with my life. And, um, <clears throat> hopefully it just gets to be better than the last few goddamn weeks. But, it's, but a good thing to be said is that my diseases are gone. So there are a little bit of throat stuff and brain stuff here and there. So I guess that's a bit of an improvement. Hopefully, um... It continues on that, and I don't get um, completely fucked up in the end. And, um, 
that's gonna be all really